Dry January is becoming more popular this year than ever. The phrase is used to describe a time where people cut out alcohol for an entire month to kick off the year on a healthier footing. Abigail Velez in CBS Austin has more. It tastes like it and it looks like it, but it's not. We're seeing people just rush into the bar excited about our non-alcoholic beverages. Chris Marshall is the owner of Sands Bar, a non-alcoholic bar in downtown Austin. He founded Sands Bar after his own sobriety journey. I had my first drink at 16, and by the time I was 23, I was in really bad shape. And as part of my sobriety journey, discovered that I wanted to help people. Marshall says business has been booming. Sales are just exploding year over year. My favorite drink at the moment is our Sands Garita. And it's just a take on a margarita. Tara Reyna is a regular at Sands Bar, and she says she lives a sober-ish lifestyle. I started exploring by doing Dry January a couple years ago, and I recommend to everyone that like taking a 30-day break is a great way to really dissect and experiment. Like, this is something that I think a lot of people need and can benefit from. Reyna has a master's degree in clinical mental health counseling with substance use. Now she educates people on the consequences of substance abuse, something that Casey Olvera is all too familiar with. Like, oh, I hope that never happens to me. Oh, that's never going to happen to me. And then eventually it did. After Casey was arrested for DWI, she knew something had to change. Now, not only is she one year sober, she's helping other people with substance abuse too. It's essentially a fear right now for me that alcohol will take over my life once again. I built this group on Instagram, really just allowing whoever wants to build healthier habits with substance use to join and follow. My practical tip for Dry January is to remember that you cannot fail. That as long as you're trying to evaluate your relationship with alcohol, that is a win. That is an absolute win. Reporting in Austin, Abigail Velez, CBS Austin News. For anyone who's interested in trying non-alcoholic options, or maybe you've started your own dry January already, you can find a whole store full of non-alcoholic options at Marigold, a new non-alcoholic liquor store right here on Nicollet Avenue in Minneapolis.